Hello guys, my name is Vita May and this is Resin by Vita May. Today I will be showing you a new mold that I just got in the mail, I believe yesterday or the day, no, but maybe the day before. And I have done a couple of pieces with it. Oh wow, I'm loving this. It's skulls and then their skeletons around the side. I don't know if you guys can see that but skulls and skeletons. Here's another one that I did. I did red. I have to put a little resin in there just to make it glowy, but I did red. It's more of a black and gray. And I did this one as well. Today I have a new pigment and this one is green. It's like a greeny metallic kind of color, the shimmer. And I will be using uh, black glitter along with it uh, so let's get to going and uh, this is the mold it came like this um, it's pretty cool it's really sturdy I think I'll get a lot of, uh, of uh, product out of this um, I'll be back with the resin so I'm back guys I know that was quick I mixed the resin off camera because uh, you can go back to my first two videos and I mixed the resin in full. Resin takes about three minutes or more to mix, so I didn't want to waste time and do that. Uh, so I'm going to add the green pigment. Like I said, this is the first time that I'm using it. It's kind of dark. I'm kind of using a shaker, but I don't know if it's working that well. But I want enough pigment in here and I want it to be dark because these ashtrays are skulls. So I'm adding a black glitter. Um, if you guys want to know where I am, I am on uh, TikTok under Vita May and I am under um, Instagram under resin with Vita May on Instagram. I am on Facebook at Vita May and I am on Etsy. I just opened up my store, yay, on Etsy yesterday, I believe. And uh, I'm on, it's called Resin by Vita May. That's R-E-S-I-N-B-Y-V-E-E-D-A I always pause at that part. I don't know why. Look how lush this green looks. I think I am in love with this green. It's so beautiful. It's like emerald with like some glow. I don't know. I think I might need to put a little bit of uh, white glitter in there because it is very dark. I do want dark, but I want dark with some pizzazz, some bling. <clears throat> so I put some white glitter in there as well. And let's see how this turns out. So I'm just going to pour it in. It's like silky butter. Yum, yum. That is beautiful. I love pouring resin. And this has like a metallic look to it too. Even though this is green, I think that I might want to mix it with a little bit of black pigment. So I'm just gonna pour just a little black pigment in here. And I have some another cup of resin. Just give that a quick little stir. I already stirred it around once. This is like the second stir to make sure everything is mixed. I'm going to just pour a little bit of that in there. Let me see, maybe a little bit more. And this should make the black. It's not going to be black, black, then I'm going to add some more because I kind of want it dark. 
after all this is skulls so there's nothing unicorny about skulls that I know of so I'm just gonna add this black hmm, how do we feel about this is this dark enough I'm not sure but I'm just going to mix that in give it a good mix I don't know how that black did. All I'm going to do is just poke around a little bit on the sides, kind of getting that black to mix in. I don't want it to mix. I don't want to turn it, but I do want it to mix with the green, kind of like a swirl. Well, that's going to be really pretty. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I cannot wait until the reveal for this mold. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous. So I guess in the spirit of maybe green pigment, let me get a cup. I did start these earrings right here earlier this morning before I went to work and I made those earrings uh, just with like some black dots all throughout the earrings. And now I'm going to add some green resin and I'm going to make green and black. Um, green and black earrings. So I am in love with this. A little bit of glitter. Always make everybody life and DIY beautiful. Who doesn't like a little glitter glitter to help my life people glitter to help my life people glitter to help my life people uh this this mold is pretty um durable and i moved it over a little bit so that i can work on these earrings So let me, oh, am I blocking the view? I don't want to block the view. Maybe if I bring it down a little bit, it might be a little bit better. Maybe move this up so it's like I'm playing, uh, which is great because sometimes you can't move the molds once you start. So I'm just going to pour the green here. As I've told you guys before, I do have syringes. And oh, also, I always have to throw this disclaimer in there because I do not do it. You should wear gloves anytime when you're working with resin. I don't wear gloves because it doesn't bother me, but it doesn't make it not right. When you use resin, wear gloves. Um, I get it on my hands and I use um, hand sanitizer. And then I go wash my hands and normally I don't have a problem. I've been using this resin now for months and it hasn't, uh, I haven't broke out or it doesn't cause any problems. Whereas though I'm like, you know, I really should be using the gloves, but just want to let you guys know, most people, I'm going to say like 90, 95% of the people that I've seen videos and stuff like that. They all have gloves, and these are people who've been who's been working with resin for years. So, just wear gloves. This is really pretty green. Could have made it a little bit darker, but I'm pretty sure that this see-through is going to be pr really pretty when it comes through. So what I do for the one mold, I have to do it for the other mold so that I can make this set right. I love to demold the, um, the earrings or any molds when I do resin. I think that's like one of my best parts. I like mixing the colors. I like, you know, um, I think the only thing I don't like is the wait time. 
that you have to wait for it, but the, it's always worth the wait. It feels like if you like presents, like to open up presents, even if you brought it yourself. And what I mean by presents is Amazon packages. Uh, I'm not putting a plug out there for Amazon, but Amazon, if you want to sponsor me, you can. I will not say no. But like when you order something from Amazon, now, yep, you ordered it, you paid for it, you wait for it to come in the mail, the box come, you're super excited about what's in there. Now you ordered it, so you know what's in there, but it's almost like somebody sent you a special package. Well, that's the way I feel about demolding uh, the resin once it's done. It's like, oh, what do we have? What do we have here? What's in here? And you open it up and it's like, oh, beautiful. I've only had one project that I did not like the outcome and I thought it was ugly. Other people thought it was nice. I mean, I really thought this was ugly. Like if I could just scrap it and redo it, I really would have, but I've done hundreds of projects and I only had just the one that I absolutely hate. And um, so I think that's, that's pretty good, but um, yeah, there's only one thing that I revealed that I wish I did not reveal and I could have, you know, not even done the project. It was ugly. I will never use it again. It is uh, on my Etsy for sale. If you want to go check out this ugly piece of artwork, maybe you might like it. It's a stand. It's a, um, a bunny stand and it has confetti. Or I made it with confetti and I thought that it was going to be perfect because all of the colors are vibrant and beautiful and everything like that. So I thought it was going to be such a beautiful, stunning piece. It wound up being such an ugly piece. Yuck. I have to say yuck oh, about that. It was a failure. Everybody will have a failure. Everybody will have a success. Something that they feel as though that Picasso needs to take lessons from them with. You know, that's just life. But if you want to go see it, even purchase it, it's, a, it's on my Etsy page, Resin by Vita May. It's for sale. It's inexpensive. It's not really, um, it's not really um, expensive. And you can always share this video with family and say, my uh, piece was mentioned on this YouTube channel by this uh, body artist. And I brought it. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. Everything else has always been, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's okay. It's nice. You know, something like that, you know, but this one piece. So I figured it, there has to be a special buyer for that special piece. You know, um, somebody who's going to look at it and say, oh my goodness, that is so pretty. And I'm going to be like, once they buy it, tag your it. <laughs> no give backsies. <laughs> it's yours. You're stuck with it. Oops, I forgot to put, can I maybe possibly save this? I forgot to put a little bit of resin in the eyes. I'm going to try to scrape a little bit of resin from here. That doesn't have pigment on it. Put this in the eyes. Hmm. Good save.
who is safe for me? Alright guys, I'm back. I was doing a little saves with this uh, resin and stuff. Like I have, um, I have this one that has a little bit of red in there. Now it's going to have red and green eyes like it's, if you can see it there. So I was just trying to save that. And uh, also it was just acrylic in there. I have to retake the pictures because the eyes are no longer red. They're like a ready green. Because I'm gonna put that online as well for sale. And um, it's gonna look better and it's gonna be a permanent situation too, so. I'm just using up this resin because it's like, it's over with and I did what I was gonna do plus more. This is just another mold that I have. It's a it's an ashtray. I'm sorry, it's not an ashtray. It's a um, soap dish or a trinket like where you can put your keys and things like that. And I like to keep those handy because if I have more resin left over, you don't want no resin to go to waste. So I do stuff like just put it in molds and stuff. And this one is going to have a green trinket dish. And what I will do is probably tomorrow because I'm not going to mix any more resin. I'm kind of tired. I had a long day at work and had a long week actually. And so that's really pretty. I might even just pour a clear coat over it of resin if it stays that way if the whole thing stays green I might just pour a whole coat over it or I could actually pour um, some of the resin uh, make some up for tomorrow and finish this out because um, resin it, it gels pretty well whether it's hard or whether it's wet it um it gels really well and you don't have to worry about oh this was already done and now my project is ruined because I didn't have enough nope tomorrow to be perfectly fine as if I blended them the same day and I can decide what I'm going to do you guys comment tell me what you think what you think about the new mold what do you think about the the skeleton uh, ashtrays and uh, the tutorial maybe give some pointers about oh maybe give some pointers about what it is that I can do differently do better what would you like to see me make next um what color would you like to see me make next um your opinion matters uh you are the one who is watching this channel and I'm doing this because I saw a lot of good resin uh how-to videos but I haven't seen any of them lately on how to. Um, I do love other uh, another channel, which is if you do resin, uh, you will learn about um, Let's Resin. Uh, they sell products. I mean, they're huge. They sell products. They make videos. They show you how to, um, and they're really quick. I don't know if they have whole uh, videos where they show step by step most of them go pretty quick and is in like super super hype speed and stuff like that mold uh because they like i think they like to make short videos but they sell products on um amazon and i don't know where else they sell them but i get my products from less resin on um on um amazon and I really never put two and two together that they were the video people and they were also the people who sell like molds and stuff like that until I was looking to do business cards and stuff. And when I went to go do my business card, I was looking at a business card from one of the stores that I ordered from just to get an idea of like, you know, what should I have on my card, my thank you cards and 
stuff. I had got a few of them. And then I said, let's resin. I said, that sounds familiar, let's resin. Well, I followed them on Instagram and on uh, YouTube. I've seen some videos and stuff. And I said, ah, that's why they're so familiar. It's something that I already follow and I had a couple of molds from them. I think most of my molds that I got from Amazon came from uh, Let's Resin. So if you have a, a moment, go check them out. I'm not putting a plug in for them. Of course, I would like for you to watch me, but I watch their videos and I think that they're very informative. They just have like a certain level. They have like a, um, a more quick, you know, professional, did their videos, type videos, instead of a person like me who don't know how to zoom in or zoom out or put a front on it or, you know, a cover with all the fanciness and stuff. One day I'll learn, I'll get me some engineering people to design my videos and stuff like that. But until, until then, it's just you and it's just me. It's you and it's me. And we're just getting this uh, done. I'm rambling, probably because my husband is in the bed and I'm all by myself and I'm doing what I love, the craft that I love to do, which is resin. Uh, stay tuned for another video. When I do another video, if I still have the uh, ashtray here, if it's not sold, then what I'll do is I will reveal the uh, green ashtray. If not, give it probably about a week and it probably will be up on my Etsy site. Again, my Etsy site is Resin by Vita May. My um, Instagram account is Resin by Vita May. Come follow me. Follow me. I'll follow you. DM me. Let me know where you got me from. I'll follow you. If you're on TikTok, my name is Vita May. Um, and come follow me on TikTok. I'm super hilarious. I am my biggest fan, but I have other fans. Um, and you may enjoy my videos. I have a lot of demolding and a lot of short clips on how I did other stuff um, from resin. And uh, I'm also hilarious. Did I mention that? I always mention that. I'm also hilarious, and I do a lot of um, a lot of uh, follow for follow and you know, uh, actually building a community for people. And it's just a great platform to be on. And you can just be yourself and you find a lot of people who just like you for being you. So I'll encourage you for that. I know there's a lot of uh, political stuff going on about um, TikTok and everything and about it being banned and China banning TikTok and stuff like that. But for right now, TikTok is still current and it's still popping. Oh, I just ranted, so sorry about that. I'm going to go because right now, resin, it just has to cure on its own. It normally takes roughly about three to six hours, depending on the mold. And I can tell you the bigger one is going to go quicker than the thinner ones for whatever reason. If you already know, you know, share it in the comments for me. But all I know is that with the, when you have like a bowl like this with more resin, it seems to harder, faster than these thin laid out pieces of resin. And uh, then second would be the tray, but the earrings can take like up to maybe about seven hours if it wants to, um, to even harden. So I thank you for watching. And I want you guys to all have a wonderful resin day.